All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started now. The first one we're going to be looking at today is very awesome, and it's called Spin. This is a music player, and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start some music up just so we can show you what this looks like. And then we're going to go back out to the lock screen and let you see what Spin looks like. So we'll go ahead and start playing since it doesn't really matter what song. I just want you to see what it looks like. And you can see how cool it looks there. Now, you see the little thing moving around the outside ring there as the song plays. If you go to the next song, see how it flips around, how nice that looks. And even the outer ring changes colors as you go through. Very, very nice little tweak. And it does offer some customizations, too. If you go into settings and you go down here to spin, uh, you, can, you can enable the, uh, not enable, but position where the spinner actually is on the screen. If you want it further up, down, left, or right, you can do that in there. And you can hide some of the buttons, customize some of the controls. Labels, if you want to hide some of the labels or position some of those, track labels, things like that. And there's a few landscape support if you're enabling, if you've got other tweaks that might be trying to interfere with the way it looks. But the big one in here is the activator. You can set this thing to come up on an activator. So check it out. I know you'll really enjoy it. The next one I know you've probably already noticed on the screen, my humongous dock icons. That's coming from Reform X. Now this is a very nice tweak and one I really enjoy because those four icons down there are the four most used on my phone and it just makes them so much easier to tap and you don't have to really concentrate as much on what you're doing. Just very, very, very good thinking on this developer's part. Uh, why Apple don't come up with some of this stuff, but hey, that gives us a way to share, right? So it puts an icon on your screen as you just saw. Then you can come in here to Reform X and you can change the way the dock looks, the folders, the home screen. There's some miscellaneous in here if you want to hide different things like the, the beta dots, carrier name, page indicators right on down the line. You'll just have to come in here and look around, fiddle around with it because this is a pretty big tweak and one that would take some time to go over. Now, talking about big tweaks and time, the next one we're going to look at here is called Spring Plus. Now, personally, I think this is something very, very much like Spring to Mice 3. And this developer here has sort of beat them to the punch in a sense, I guess. He got his released in Spring to Mice 3. We're still waiting. I don't know what's going on with this, guys. It, it Anyway, in here, you can customize things on your lock screen, your springboard, your status board, your control center, notifications, app switcher, right on down the line. I mean, you just have to come in here and pick and choose what you want on, what you don't. You know, that's going to be totally left up to you, Spring plus very nice tweak another cool tweak is called k's k-a-z-e this is an app switcher that works off of hot corners it's called and the hot corner is in the bottom left side if you swipe up down there you're going to get an app switcher and then you can go through here and open up whatever you want to and you see i can pick and choose whatever i want and if i want to open it up back into settings i can and go into k's here you see we got different things we can turn on and off. You can invert your hot corners. If you'd rather have it on the right side, just flip that on. If you want to access your app switcher, you can turn that on. If there's certain apps you don't want this to work with, all you got to do is disable it. You know, if you're playing a game or something like that, there's a particular game in the bottom left corner is a location where you need to be without it coming, invoking this tweak simply disable it that's what that's there for so not not really that hard to understand check it out i know you're really going to like this another awesome one is called translucent messages what this one does guys it makes your message app look totally totally much better i mean so sweet clean look how just how faded that background is and how much better that looks compared to that just that old white background or whatever looks so much better with that translucent sort of that blur translucent blur added to that right over top of that wallpaper whatever your wallpaper is that's what it's going to be in here with just a little bit of a translucent blur laid over top of it very very cool 
I know you're really going to like that one too, guys. Next alarm 10. This is a humongous alarm app, guys. Not app, but tweak. And you turn it on, and what you do, uh, we'll put it in the status bar uh, under the lock screen date and all that kind of stuff. If you want to hide your iOS alarm icon, you can do so. And then once you set an alarm to come on, uh, so we'll go out here and we'll set an alarm and we'll go to clock. And as you can see, I don't have any type of alarm set right now. But we'll just turn this one on for the sake of you saying it's on right now. And you saw it pop up there right above my clock. And you see that big red badge that says 545A. That to me, guys, is an awesome way to know that I've got an alarm set for 545. Rather than just seeing what it is in the status bar pro with the little alarm clock knowing I've got one set, I know the exact time it's set. Very, very cool. And you just need to make sure you turn them off when you play around with them and you don't get woke up that early in the morning. So if you want to go back in here, there's a lot of things you can do. You can you can align it with the, uh, I mean, replace it with your carrier name. You can separate it with the little time separators in here, bullets, dashes, parentheses. There's just a lot you can do with this, guys. And to me, I really like the badge format the best. So that's probably what I would go with. That's called Next Alarm 10. All right, guys, the next one is probably the coolest of the day. It's called Pick Pocket 2. <laughs> Pick Pocket 2. And what this one does is it prevents thieves from stealing your phone, supposedly. Uh, deter them, I should say. And you see there on the screen, it says, Found this phone, question mark. And you can set this up with a, uh, if they enter the wrong password or if you had a password on your phone and they entered the wrong password, it would actually do a number of different things. It could send you an email, take their picture, uh, send you that picture by, if you have your photo stream turned on, then you would have an automatic upload of the photograph that was just taken of the person trying to enter into your phone, which would be pretty awesome if you think about it. But there's so much you can do with this tweak, guys. And I'll just show you a little bit about settings here. We'll go into the settings part of it here. Go into pickpocket. And you see I have it turned on right here. You have to set up a password when you first sign in to change any of these uh, settings and so on. But the thing I like most about this is being able to take photographs of whoever's trying to unlock your phone. And here's the un unlock options down through here. The number of passwords that you're going to allow to be entered before you start doing these things. I have it turned all the way down to one. Uh, you can even set it up with a fingerprint, all that stuff. And you could even set up a speech, like uh, if you wanted to say something to the person that found your phone, like, would you please return my phone to blah, blah, blah. Uh, maybe a really nice message, you know, and save it, and then you can play it if they entered the wrong password. Uh, then you see I have at each wrong password attempt take a picture using the front camera and the rear camera or only on wrong passwords probably would want to turn that on too. <clears throat> now enable the above switch to save pics only when a wrong password has been entered which we just talked about. Now if they take that photograph and that's hooked to your photo stream on another device you could be you could be sitting there looking at pictures of the person trying to get into your phone so guys there's a this is a huge tweak and a very awesome tweak definitely one worth checking out be sure and do that now i'm gonna flip my control center up you see how cool it looks there there's two tweaks in here i want to talk about first one is called onion and what it does it just takes some of those lines and separators away and just makes it look much much cleaner as you can see and the other tweak you see there is the clock above the control center that's con that's called control clock and it wherever you have your uh, control center open that's where it'll be the next one up there in the status bar you see the little orange line up there that's coming from battery status bar now this one has several different things you can customize and we'll go into the settings part of this one and go into battery status bar and you can turn up or down however wide you want the or high you want the bar to be and anything you do in here you do have to uh, apply changes that requires a respring 
and in here you can also set the uh, color of the actual bar itself and if we wanted that to be green we could pull that little picker right over here to green and then we could just simply hit apply changes all that would take effect and all of it would look like we wanted it to we can customize it to make it look however we want it to look <clears throat> very very cool if you are familiar with facebook message heads uh, i'm going to show you what some of these look like here and we're going to use i'm going to send my own self a couple of messages here just to get the message heads to popping up just you know my own self just test just to show you what i'm talking about here all right and you'll see the little message head pop up and you see we when we pull our gesture up we're going we're using it for the message app, and I'm going to choose my name right here. And like I said, I'm just going to send my own self a message. And now you see we got the little message head up here. Okay, and you can drag it wherever you want it to be. And if you want to close it, you just drag it over the X down there and it would disappear. But if you want to send another message, you can just send it right on down the line so if this is something you'd rather use as opposed to your regular message app dive in now look at my folder up there guys the second row the last icon uh, you see how it looks different now I have installed and it's called nugget folder nugget nugget however you want to pronounce that this is supposedly the way that the Android folders look on a droid phone I wouldn't have any idea I've never I shouldn't say that. I had one Android phone. It was okay. I'm just rednecking the Android users out there. Check it out. I know you'll like it. Another one is called Clear on Open. Very simple tweak. Nothing to configure. Anything like that. If we come in here and we search something out, hit search, search up, we leave, we go around, we come back, we want to search something else, drop our search menu down. Nothing there. Okay. Normally, the last text you entered would be there okay and you would have to delete it and take a little time to do that this eliminates that it's always clear ready to search guys hope you enjoyed the video don't forget favorite comment subscribe and keep coming back